Hi, I'm back with the uh, DI hybrid inverter here, and uh, it is producing uh, 2.1 kilowatts for those playing along at home. It's a really nice sunny day here, the um, first decent one we've got actually. Uh, the P1's a bit down, which is the eastern side, uh, the western side is uh, 1.1 kilowatts. Still haven't cleaned the panel, so you know, I don't know what's going on there. But uh, anyway, I, because this is a hybrid inverter, even though I haven't hooked up a battery to it yet, um, I've just been offered a battery. So really excited about that. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, test that even and even though I haven't got the gen uh, the generator port hooked up um, yes I do have now my advanced hole going through the here for the uh, comms cable so um, yeah it's just hanging on the other side anyway I wanted to test the hybrid capability so in theory if I just switch off the AC main so like to simulate a grid failure it should still continue to operate from the panels um, and the, even though I haven't got the gen, even though I've got no load on the gen output, maybe it does need a load. But uh, and anyway, I'm just going to uh, switch that off and see if she still operates. Because a um, uh, by law here in Australia, um, all inverters uh, must, when the grid uh, fails, it must actually disconnect the uh, output. So um, yeah, but it can still keep the separate generator output uh, going. There's no rule against that. So here. Here we go. I'm going to switch off. Simulate grid failure. Here we go. There you go. Grid fail. Alarm. AC is off. Yep. And it's still operating from the DC. Whereas the old Sunny Boy, it would just completely um, switch off <laughs> because it wasn't a hybrid inverter. Because it's getting. Um, Due to the uh, circuit design in here, it's getting uh, now, it's now being powered from the solar um, side here. So it can get, I guess, power um, to actually power the internal circuitry from either uh, the mains here or the uh, solar over here. But this one, of course, um, will still continue to work. It's not a residual um, power in there. It won't just eventually uh, die. It's not caps just holding it up. Um, it's actually designed to do this. And if I actually had a load hooked up to the generator output um, then yeah I could keep powering uh, things while the sun's up and if you don't have a battery um, that's okay <laughs> you know your things your generator output will just uh, go off when the sun goes down but at least during the day you will still have power so even without a battery a hybrid inverter is useful um, there you go I mean it's not producing uh, it's still getting voltage from the panels but you can see it's not producing any power because the power is not uh has uh, power has nowhere to go there's no internal load so there's no generator load so if i hooked on a you know if i still had some fridges hooked up to the generator or something um that would uh still work but uh yeah there you go so let's switch that back on the grid is back grid is back we've got ac comes back on and it should it'll it'll take a bit wonder how long it takes we'll find out shall we and the grid is back up so we've simulated a short power fail which is what we get here in sydney and the sydney grid is ridiculous reliable i've lived here all my life and the number of uh, uh you know decent power fails so can count on one hand probably or count two couple of hands um yeah we're like power fail every couple of years and they might last you know like 10 minutes like now or they might last you know an hour i think the longest one i've ever had is like two hours or something in my entire life so um yeah um yeah it's gonna take a while maybe it's got some timer internally but uh i'm not sure if you can yeah i'm not sure if you can see that it's hard in the bright light with the uh screen but yeah it's ac's there um i don't know do i I shouldn't have to reset it. What is that? That font is tiny. F45. What's that? Uh, anyway, it did still work, and I'm sure that the generator output uh, would, was producing uh, power. That's an absolute given. But the fact that it does power itself from the DC string is what I wanted to see. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll come back on. <laughs> I don't want to yap on forever, because um, this is pretty boring. Oh, no, no, there we go. Yep, normal. There you go. So what? What was that? A solid minute? Two minutes? On? Yep, on. And we're producing. We should 16 watts. It should start to ramp up. Yep. And it pr produces power. No problems whatsoever. 
Right, so maybe that's some hysteresis uh, thing. You know, it doesn't uh, want to suddenly switch on and off all the time with uh, the, you know, if the grid's like suddenly going out for a second or two or something like that, you don't want it maybe switching off and back on. So that could be a hysteresis thing. I don't know. Could be in the manual somewhere or may not. But there you go. That works nicely as a hybrid inverter. I'm absolutely sure that the generator output here uh, would work. So, uh, yeah. I might, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to install uh, some cable in through there. Um, yeah, probably should have taken it all through the one uh, conduit, <laughs> really, because, yeah, I need another conduit for the, um, go in here for the gen, and then I can uh, have some outlets in the garage that I can power some fridges, which I'm already uh, doing from the uh, battery that I've got in there, that EcoFlow uh, battery, and, uh, yeah, and also the uh, microinverter input um, here, because if we go over here where are we if we go into settings and we go into uh grid no gen gen port use there you go i can select it so that the uh there's a my it, the generator is not a generator input as in a petrol generator a gas generator for you yanks um it can be a micro inverter input there so yeah so i can hook up micro inverters to those new panels which i'll be installing the railings for those today so anyway yeah cool Catch you next time.